Welcome all participants. Indian Institute of, Indian Institute of Financial Management, IGPAM, Sikindrabad, welcomes you all for online training course for Appendix 3 Aspirants. Today's topic is Sources of Finance. To take up this session, we have three M. Nageshwar Rao, Chief Instructor, IGPAM. Welcome, and it's over to you to come in the session, please. Yeah, thank you, Benar. Uh, hope it is uh, audible and visible. Please confirm. Yeah, please confirm in the chat box is, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> so today's topic is source of finance budget. Because there are two types of uh, source of finance. One is budget resources and another is extra budget extra budget. So the source for this uh, topic is the seventh chapter Indian Railway Finance Code Volume 1. Okay. So first we will discuss uh, what are the uh, budget source of finance. Okay. Sources which are announced or disclosed in the annual budget that is a regular uh, annual access submitted by the government of India to the parliament every year is called budgetary sources. So it may be a capital that is provided by the government of India or internal resources generated from the uh, railway operations or other government funds also is there. It is not only railway funds, some other funds also we are utilizing for this railway infrastructure works. <coughs> These are capital. This is uh, provided by the government of India. DRF depreciation reserve fund, DF development fund, capital fund, safety fund, and RRSK Rashtriya Rail Sunrakshit Kosh and debt service fund, or it is also called Railway Liability Reserve Fund. These two funds are outside the scope of railways, that is a CRIP and the NIF. CRIP stands for Central Road and Infrastructure Fund. But we are replacing the uh, part of amount this for railway infrastructure as well as national investment fund. <coughs> so these are all the details or provisions it is made in the annual budget regularly. So regarding this EPR means extra budgetary resources that is outside the scope of the parliament. That means uh, LIC funds, uh, IRFC. Yeah, extra budget resources, uh, institutional finance, PPP, public private partnership, all these are all called non uh, extra budgetary resources. So, we we'll discuss today topic is uh, so budgetary resources. This is 2021 budget uh, uh, for having an idea of what is the contribution of budgetary support or internal resource or external resource. Mm, it is a just for a glance. In the tier, it is the proposed capital expenditure is 1,60,000 crores. Whereas uh, this gross budget is support uh, that is from the uh, Ministry of uh, Finance or Government of India, it is a 70,000 crores. Uh, almost it is a 43% of the total budget, this uh, capital budget. Out of this, this capital is 46,500. And our RRSK 5,000 crores and Central Road and Infrastructure Fund is the 18,500 crores. Nowadays, this is the biggest contribution, almost contributed a very substantial amount for railway infrastructure. <coughs> and uh, it is a, uh, if you check this internal resources, the share of internal resources is gradually decreasing year after year. Because uh, all of you know there is no increase in the prices for the last 10 years. Whereas if you check the inflation, it is a uh, continuously rising, whether it is a diesel or material cost or staff cost due to pay commission recommendations. But to match that, uh, there is no uh, uh, receipts to that extent. There is no uh, uh, matching cost. Now we check this extra uh, budgetary resources, that is external resources. 
almost it is 50 per 52 percent of the total is capital budget. See, IRFC share is 30,000 crores. EPRIF that is a LSC funds that is also through IRFC that is 28,000 crores. And other PPP modes, public private partnership modes, it is a 25,000 crores. And nearby fund it is a small one, 250 crores. So this is the uh, broad outlook of this capex. Almost this is similar is in the 2021-22 and 22-23 also similar. It is not much similar. Here this RRS K 10,000 crores, uh, 5,000 crores from internal resources and 5,000 crores from the Ministry of Finance. So altogether this RRS K 10,000 crores. Now we check a broad outlook of railway funds uh, when the year is established. <coughs> the oldest working fund in Indian railways is the DRF, Depreciation Reserve Fund. The numerical code that is the first two digits in the capital allocation it is the 21. I told you this is the oldest working fund 1924 it is established. The prior, previous name of this fund is Program Revenue. Program Revenue. And in the 1950 development fund is uh, uh, restricted. This is old name is called Betterment Fund, Railway Betterment Fund. Here it is the, uh, the first two digits of the allocation is the 23, 33, 43 and 52. That means uh, four parts is there we will discuss in later. Yeah. Capital fund it is an internal resource. It is the previous name is called Railway Reserve uh, Revenue Reserve Fund. The new name is Capital Fund. It is established in 1992. The code is 25. Safety fund or uh, railway safety fund, it is established in the 2001. That uh, numerical code is uh, 26. And RRSK, that is recently established, uh, Rashtriya Rail Sandrakshit Post. This is nothing but uh, another uh, safety fund. Another safety fund. So just name is changed. So here the code is 29. Yeah, though it is not specified, it is a second SRS. SRSF it is established in the 2001, the first SRSF that is closed. So in the place of SRSF, uh, it was established in the two, after 10 years, that in 2017, uh, uh, by uh, the name of RR. But the uh, characteristics and uh, the objectives of the funds of uh, SRSF and RRSF both are one and same. Now we go to uh, each and every this, uh, source of finance in detail. This is from examination point of view also, you have to write briefly about the fund and you have to write uh, important thing is what are the debits to this source and credits from this source. That is very important, whether it is a source of finance, whether it is a capital or DRF, DF, RSF, whatever it is there. <coughs> you have to mention the detail, what is the debit to the fund, that is what are the expenditure incurred from that fund and what is its contribution to that fund, that is how the fund is created or contributed. That is very, very important. So now we'll check the first one is capital. See, it is provided from the general revenues by government of India. What is the debits to the capital? Debits to the capital is the cost of land. That means uh, the land purchasing cost for whatever object it should be debited to capital. And the first cost of construction and equipment, not replacement, please remember, it's not replacement it is the first cost of construction and equipment that means whether it is a new lines re production units or machinery anything and cost of maintaining a section of the line not open for work that means in the parallel street is not open for public till such time the cost of maintenance of cost of that line also it is uh, debited to capital and the cost of any additions to the line or equipment of the line that is also uh, debit and uh, in previous uh, uh, last periods this IRFC leasing charges has bifurcated into capital and interest components so capital component it is goes to capital or capital fund so the first uh, we will check the any balance under capital fund if the balance is not sufficient in the capital fund to meet the capital component of uh, this IRFC lease charge, 
then we will be tempted to this capital. That is the last option. First, we will check capital fund. Now we will come to credits. Credits means how this capital is you know, augmented or provided. See, the first one is already I told this is provided from the general revenues by government of India each and every year. And other than that, so at the time of uh, condemnation of the asset, the original cost of the debit at the capital is to be credited to this capital. That means in the initial time, at the time of procurement, at the time of construction, it was debited to the capital. <clears throat> so the same debit, now it is a write-off, it is called write-off. So it is a credited to capital at the time of abandoned or disposal without being replaced. On replacement of rolling stock by another of less attractive power. That means suppose it is a 5000 HP loco, it is replaced by 3000 HP loco. So the difference of the cost also is credited to the capital. Okay. Or sitting capacity or floor area, whatever it is, the less capacity. And at the time of sale of land or uh, disposal, it is all sale proceeds also it is credited to capital. And the difference between the, the cost of the debit and the cost of the capital of a replaced asset, when the required asset is less than the cost at the debit of capital. That means if the uh, replacing cost is less than the original cost, the difference also should be created to capital. Now we we'll check the, the DRF, it is the oldest working fund in Indian business. Established in the 1st January 1924, the predecessor or, uh, of this DRF is the program revenue. Program previously it is called program revenue. So whatever the uh, balance available up to 31st 3rd 1924 is now shown under 1st April 1924. This is a minor rate under the major rate 8115 depreciation or renewal reserve fund. There is a major head is there for uh, that is called depreciation or renewal reserve funds under this. Uh, this DRF is a minor head. So the details of the DRF it is maintained in the books of Railway Code, mm, not in general railways. Now we check as usual what are the debits to this DRF and what are the credits to the DRF. This is very, very important for examination point of view. The cost of replacement and renewals, uh, already told you, the first cost, it is goes to capital, the replacement cost goes to DRF, that is simple difference. Including this cost of dismantling or handling or shifting of the old assets also, it is a debited to DRF. And the cost of replacement of ballast, including improvement of type, improvement type, that is replacement of ballast, and the cost of debit of capital or development of fund of being replaced. That means one asset is there, we have to replace it. So at the time of oh, this condemnation of that asset, we don't replace DRF is gets debit. That same rule applies if the asset is purchased from the development fund also. Okay. That is the debit. DRF, not capital. It is the debited to DRF. Credits is now we are going to regularly the uh, from uh, we are charged for revenue for railway revenue. Appropriation what is used only for development fund, safety fund, RRS and other funds. For depreciation reserve fund and pension fund, it is charged to the fund. But uh, however, we are not uh, maintained the depreciation account under scientific manner. We we'll discuss later. So again, the amount to release it from the disposal of the original asset is the current debit of capital or beer. That means at the time of surrendering of asset, some amount is realized from the scrap. That is also credited to DRF, not capital R. And this is the, all these funds are attracted to this of the fund also, it is credited to DRF. And balance will be carried from year to year, all the funds this rule. But if we check the last eight years or 10 years, the contribution to DRF is gradually decreasing year after year. Because the main reason is there is no sufficient uh, earnings uh, to so uh, charge this DRF as per the scientific.
please check this 2013 14 it is a 7900 crores but if we check current year 2021 22 it is 800 crores that means almost 10 percent of uh, only we are getting the what we are getting in the 2013 and 14 8000 crores 800 crores so almost 90 percent reduced but whereas uh, if we check the replacement of assets it is a uh, Already due of so many railway assets are due for this replacement. If we check the bridges, track, uh, that is very important for safety uh, side. So why it is happening is the railway appropriation to bear upon a need come availability basis. That means uh, where, 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 wherever whatever uh, need is there, then only we are appropriated. Not uh, we are uh, maintained any scientific means reality method. Fixed uh, installment, there are so many methods are there. So, but we are not uh, uh, calculated this uh, DRF uh, scientifically. This will be uh, considered if you consider the coral line or salvage value with calculation, but that is not. So, this negligible appropriation is nothing but uh, resulted in the creation of uh, SRS and uh, that is a second SRS uh, that is uh, renamed as the RRSK, last year, right? Sandrachet Kosh, that is with an amount of 1 lakh crores in the 2017 and 18. If you are uh, provided sufficient amount to under gear up regularly, this need of a special part required, not arise. That is the very important thing. Now we will come to, now we will come to development fund. This is very, very important. Uh, please stay in the meeting. Uh, I'll come back in two minutes. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah. Uh, please confirm in the chat box whether it is audible or not. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Naitri. Yeah. Thank you. Now we'll discuss uh, this development fund. Development fund, uh, it is a pre the name itself is the uh, reflex. This fund is used for the betterment of the passengers or betterment of the staff and other activities. That is uh, the works which are not in measure are because of uh, the safety <coughs> or is chargeable to this uh, development fund. 
it is divided into three parts the four parts it is divided into four parts that means development fund one two three four it is easy to remember plus plus means it is a uh, some keyword p stands for passenger amenities and other railway use amenities l stands for labor welfare and u stands for unremunerative works that means improvement of the operational efficiency but not yield any rate of return you cannot expect the rate of return uh, in the unremunerative work the rate of return so all these works it is chargeable to development fund it is in four parts plus p stands for labor welfare u stands for unremunerative s stands for works safety works <coughs> now we check now railway board recently modified this name <coughs> to passenger amenities and other railway use amenities plan it is renamed as the customer amenities is not there now we check passenger amenities the railway stations that is a what is our retaining rooms and a prs passenger integration system and a pass here not stop and other users means parcel offices such as what facility waiting room etc all this comes under other railway users so the name itself is amenities stop that means hospitals clinics stores recreation rooms sports facilities clubs sanitation in the railway colonies and railway quarters for non guest stop all this comes under labor welfare works and under uh, uh, improvement of operational efficiency but we cannot the example says uh, improvement of water supply at stations for local flow of improvements converting dead end sidings into uh, through loops and adding more number of trains electric lighting at uh, sheds or stations or improvement in bridges telecommunication works remodeling of station yards works rest houses for officers and subordinates washable operands on the passenger platform lines or unremunerative works remember easily the numerical code also 20f1 33 for df2 43 for df3 53 for df4 it is a 10 10 difference safety works other than the sensing gate uh, targeted that means uh, safety box and uh, anti pollution device whatever safety box is there that is all charged to development fund the board so that now we'll check the credits credits to, to this part see railway commission of the amount is appropriated to from railway surplus hmm? and the cost of debit of debt when asset is uh, surrendered or condemned but not uh, uh, created debited to development fund that is created and interest earned on the balance of the development fund this is on this development fund now we'll check the capital fund this is created with effect from 1992 93 financial year based on the recommendations of the railway convention committee 1991 this is a minor head under railway this major is capital fund is the revenue reserve fund and capital fund means why it is renamed in means this uh, revenue reserve fund uh, amount is uh, ua is facing the uh, when uh, facing the shortage of the money so during such times uh, is a fund and pay to the dividend to ministry of finance or if railway is unable to pay the dividend it is a uh, deferred for another uh, uh, object of maintaining this railway revenue reserve fund is not required so the, this fund is renamed this capital replacing this uh, amount of infrastructure was thereby reducing the burden on the capital capital fund is not dividend impact because it is our internal resource now we'll check the operation of revenue surplus that means operating ratio table if you check the total uh, <coughs> revenue receipts minus total revenue expenditure is called uh, uh, net revenue or net receipts dividend uh, uh, current year dividend and uh, payment of deferred dividend and after adjusting of capital fund that is uh, payment of principal as taking loan from the general revenue fund so on that loan we are supposed to repay the interest also so after payment of this principal as well as interest on loan to development fund and payment of deferred dividend if any after meeting is created to capital fund also is there rs fund or rs also and another uh, the regular credit is the interest on the capital fund that is that the balance of the at the 31st march pension come now we'll check what are the debits to the capital added on the capital that means whatever uh, works the capital is allocated but uh, uh, allocate uh, any work on this capital fund based on the rules normally no separate rules existing for creation of this fund 51 that is a uh,
except the planets 11 and 51 we usually charge to all planets because as far as balance is there in the uh, you know what is called uh, this uh, phenomenon the product capital component of fire system so that is the yearly thing that is the main authority the 19 hours is to be done as per allocation and what is the object or what is the ratio of borrowings from the general revenues because uh, at the time it was uh, to reduce the borrowings is non refundable and the interest bearing loan. Interest means we are paying dividends on the loan cap. Uh, this is created capital fund in the 1993. Because uh, the year after year 76, the gross price, how it is come down to uh, uh, this plan size cannot be reduced because of the time. So that is the reason we capital fund for generation of we paid on expenditure material, we not pay any dividend on the this because it is a our own internal resources. Okay. On the other hand, the interest is created to the capital fund uh, on the balance of fund uh, at the end of normally this rate of interest is equal to the dividend rate and recommended by also measure of railway budget with the general budget that is from 2 to the impact on the railway of credit of dividend. Now safety fund. This is very important. For road users, it is for road users. That means the road users who are crossing the right, we are uh, constructing that is simulate that is man level, that is ROB, RUB, and LH, and the limited height is okay. That is small types of vehicle to meet the uh, very less within a policy to provide units are low and manned side. That means uh, we are uh, traveled across the track are very less crossing rate but unmanned. That means three units are more than. Level crossing a train vehicle unit, it is a justification for construction of roads. Normally, the state government uh, is uh, contributed 50% because it is dependent on the uh, ROB. This is 2016 figure, 33% are unmanned. But recently, the railroad has taken a policy decision to eliminate uh, in the BG route, broad gauge, what going on by 2023. We made this uh, main line, but uh, broad gauge lines. <coughs> On the recommendations of the railway bearing fund, that means uh, unlike this development fund and capital 31st March, this is a fund. So, meeting the dividend liability in the revenue for railway revenues, part two, we discuss later. Central road uh, government share also, state government share also is there to follow this. <coughs> Here, the railway board is created two new planets. One is uh, <coughs> to man the level crossing and 30 planet is the construction of uh, road over bridge or road under bridge or limited height subways in place of manned level plan. How it is calculated train vehicle unit means uh, sourcing that line on the road vehicles uh, 500. So 5 into 500 it is the 25,000. The train vehicle unit is 25,000. Where this train vehicle unit is uh, exceeds 1 lakh then it is a justifying for this uh, construction of ROB and ROB. But the railway board recently instructions, it is uh, now this RSF safety fund uh, can be utilized for other planets, that is a new lines, gas conversion, doubling, etc. For this is recently uh, issued by railway board. Previously, it is only restricted to this planet 29 and 30. Now we can use these funds for this, depending on the railway board guidelines, that is a new lines, gas conversion, prop facilities, all these things. Now it is a small fund. Discussed. Liability reserve fund or sometimes it is called as debt service fund. Finally, now in relevant documents, it is reflected in 2013 and 14. What is the liabilities for debts of the construction of this DMC dedicated credit card and any future obligations? So, implementation of the pay communities it is created in the 2013 and 14. So, what are the debits and credits we we'll discuss? Credits is from the net surplus <coughs> that is railway excess of receipts or capital. And this is also on the balance of the end of the society. fund, debt service fund also depends to the fund. To meet committed liabilities of the debt service for World Bank and Chica, for DFC, we have to repay the debt agency and World Bank for uh, this DFC ration of future pay commission or awards. And uh, recently, these funds is used for the payment of area so meeting from this fund. Why it is important is 2008 and 9, 2009 and 10, 
1718 and 1819 due to recommendations of the sixth pay and the seventh pay recommendations. And the large scale, that is the uh, uh, initial cost of BFC it is 96,000 crores. Now it is a percent of this best for Eastern Dental to provide current time. So at the time of capital component and interest component, it is a very heavy process. The repayment of loans commission recommendations in BA may in order to prevent this huge burden on the railway finances. This fund is created and plan to allocate the contributions to other sad fact is there is a sufficient amount in the surplus to provide to contribute to this fund in 3000 crores from this special areas. The object is simply to say this net is operated under all the demand sets that is a given number 4 to 13 that is a sub 990 under trades and deposits amount met from the railway debt service fund. Is a However, for the last three years, there is no appropriation to this fund due to lack of sufficient internal resources. So now we are discussing this dedicated credit card. This is the right time for discussing about track access charges. Track access charges. What is track access charges? Access to the rail network is called a separate one and user is also separate one. Right now in Indian Railways, the user and the owner are both one and same. They get a credit card that related. The user is the either Indian Railways or any private operators also. We spend between VFCCII, that is dedicated credit card corporation affiliated. That is a special purpose vehicle on Indian Railways in the year 2014. PSC, PSC means track access charges to the VFCCL for access the track constructed by the land. Why? Because the user is Indian Railways. Are goods, uh, it is only dedicated for goods. So, it's goods users uh, that from that we have to pay track access charges to the one. So, here PSC is the two part. Two part the consists of it is in the table to the uh, DFCCL irrespective of train or under trains. This is the fixed work. This part, whereas variable component it is of thousands of PK. What is variable component? This is a Tra traction charges, stop cost, material cost, all this is a part of variable uh, so track access charges will be, which are taken from the World Bank and the Chitta. Okay, that is the so we lost a few heads. RRSK, this is the latest uh, one. RRSK stands for Rastriya Rail Sandakshak Push. This is a dedicated fund for it, that means we fund. So it was established in based on the recommendations of the High Level Safety Review Committee 2012, that is headed of Atari Energy Commission. RRSK is formed uh, for a period of five years. Now that means the next year is the terminal year, last year. Almost four years is passed. The fund proposal is the two lakh, one lakh crores are spending on every year. This is the structure in the 17 in the initial year. That is a cross. Ministry of Finance is the 5,000 crores. And our internal resources is the 1,000 crores. Total 20,000 crores. So this is uh, that is the object of this uh, uh, RRS effort to prevent the accidents in order to accomplish the zero accident mission. That is the main object. That is safety. And unique feature of this fund is the funds uh, grant received under this fund, if not utilized on 31st March, it is carried forward to next year. But under the doctrine of lapse for 31st March, it is a lapse. But here this RRSP it is a non-lapse. That is very, very important. In that 21 crores, we still discussing 5,000 crores from internal and 5,000 crores from budgetary support. It is the same on the crores. So what are the works falling under? It is almost it is a duplication of BRF. Depreciation is a fund. So BRF only this uh, creation of fund is required. So almost similar to BRF, if you check track renewals and upgradation, bridge rehabilitation, elimination of all the LC and the construction of ROBs. Construction of ROBs and RUBs. Replacement of uh, improvement of signal and replacement of electrical assets and HRD, human resource development. Now it is a central road infrastructure fund. Uh, just a minute, uh, I'll come back one.
Central Road and Infrastructure Fund (CRF) stands for change it from uh, CRF to CR funds used for only road infrastructure and ROBs and RBs. Now it was extended. Meet that uh, other uh, items. Uh, the fund was renamed as the Central Road and Infrastructure Capital Equipment, growing into railways uh, for a course is uh, allotted. The prior to 2019 and 20, it is uh, almost 15,000 to 50 crores. This is usually spend on the LCBs and ROB heads, but uh, recently the railway board has uh, issued. Uh, a letter so utilization of funds for the safety fund this is for other planets also this is the main contribution for rsf so now rsf can use it for this other infrastructure works that is a new line space conversion doubling traffic all uh, related to line capacity okay. this is established in the year 2000 established in the year 2000 the Central Road and Infrastructure Act 2000, that is that. The old name is the Central Road Fund. It is managed by the Department of Economic Affairs under the Ministry of Finance. When it was a Central Road Fund, it is maintained under, it is a control of the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Now it was changed to this Department of Economic Affairs under the Ministry of Finance. The source, what is the source to this uh, fund, uh, CRIF is uh, levy and collect by way of cess a duty of excise and duty of customs on petrol and diesel. If you check in the year 2018 and 2019, it says 1,13,000 crores is collected. So very uh, big amount. It is approximately, you see, whenever you are buying this diesel or petrol uh, if, uh, out of one liter cost, the 10 rupees approximately goes to this CRI. Now we'll check the object and what are the debits to this fund. That is to finance infrastructure projects such as railways, inland waterways, road and bridges, ports, shipyards, urban public transport, energy sector, water and sanitation, and communication and social infrastructure. This is recently added. Social infrastructure means creation of new buildings, new educational buildings. That is HRD. This ministerial panel on the CRIF is the four ministers is there. That is finance minister, railway minister, road transport and highways minister and HRD minister. This is the committee uh, recommending the Allocation of funds under CRI, yeah, this thing. And again, this is 15 member subcommittee is there, that is a secretary rank of, that is secretary rank means that is from railways, our CRB is represented. And this subcommittee is evaluated the proposals received from the ministries on the uh, ministries on the infrastructure and projects. That is, I will also send the proposals. Now we'll check the national railway fund. Uh, railway fund is the this railway infrastructure. So this is the one of the source of finance. Uh, So this is established in the year 2005. This is maintained by DPM. DPM stands for Department of Investments and Public Asset Management. Department of Investments and Public Asset Management. So what are the credits to this fund? This is very important. Uh, now the government policy is the disinvestment of the central public sector enterprises. So many public sector undertakings are disinvested. That means uh, going for IPO, initial public offer, and uh, reducing the government state. Reducing the government state. So, whatever the proceeds out of this disinvestment of central public sector enterprises, it is created to public account of India. Created to this fund, and these proceeds are go, goes to not consolidated fund of India. 
That means it is goes to public account of India. Why? Because he is funds who should not replace for any other work. Only the work. It is the corpus nature. Corpus nature means permanent nature. The whatever the money <coughs> created to national investment fund, you should not use this principal amount for <coughs> any infrastructure project. Only interest earned on this corpus only we are replacing for this infrastructure. So that means the money with the national investment fund is permanent in nature. And is professionally managed to provide returns, that is income to the government, without depleting its value. That is called corpus. So original amount is always it is a standard one. So it is managed by the professional managers such as SBI Fund Management Private Limited, UTI Asset Management Limited, and LSC Mutual Fund Asset Management. So, what are the uh, debits to this fund is NIF National Infrastructure Fund Investment Fund. Subscribing shares being issued by the CPSC on rights basis. Suppose CPSC is issued on rights basis, so you can uh, government can subscribe the shares uh, or preferential allotment of shares as per civil regulation because civil regulation says. Uh, if it is become be, become the this public sector organization, it has to ensure the minimum stake is fifty one percent for the government of India. So to ensure this fifty one percent stake, the government is supposed to uh, subscribe this uh, additional shares. So that is also met from the national investments fund. And for capital infusion in the PSB, that is public sector banks or public sector insurance companies. To meet basic three norms, and investments in the regional rural banks are NABARD or Exim Bank or Indian India Infrastructure Finance Company Limited, and equity infusion in the metro projects. Suppose in some metro city, we take Delhi Metro. It is the government the central government share is there in Delhi Metro. So that is also met from this national investments fund. And investments in the Bharatiya Navikya Vidyut Nigam Limited, that is the power sector side, and Uranium Corporation of India Limited, and uh, Indian Railways towards capital. This is also one of the object of national investment. And we will discuss this is a uh, uh, almost in conclusion, but. Uh, Railway board recently uh, mooted the idea of merging of all the traditional what we are discussing that is the development fund, DRF, capital fund, safety fund. All these funds now government is proposed merging, merging of all these funds. They established a committee. Uh, we we'll check the this is the railway board letter. This is recently issued to draw report. Hmm. The committee consists of PFK Northern Railway, PFK East Coast Railway, PFK Construction South Central Railway, and OS, OS the Officer and Special Duty Accounts Railway Board is the secretary. So, the terms of reference to study the genesis of the existing railway funds, their objectives, funding arrangements, what are the rules of allocation, that is the seventh chapter, just now we discussed. It. So, they want to review the, all these. Necessity or, or what is the importance or what is the object of these funds, whether it is still relevant in the present scenario, because there are a lot of changes that is major of early budget, there is no loan capital. And to examine the relevance or need for continuation of these funds. See, if it is the committee is recommended and uh, merged all these funds. Uh, we will have a very good relief to, to learn all these funds not required for examination point of But till such time, we have to uh, learn. We have to understand. And the including the need for separate ring pencil. Ring pencil means only specific object funds. That is DFR only plus. DRF is replacement of uh, assets. RSF means it is only for level crossing and 
this ROB. Pension fund means to meet the pension liability. So that is the review of the all these funds. And to examine the feasibility of merging of all these existing funds uh, and to suggest new rules of allocation for merged funds. And it is also uh, reviewing the application of test of remuneratives that is under the ECF technique, that is the rate of return. Uh, and to so suggest the mechanism and internal control of judicious use of the funds in case of merged funds. Because that means after matching of fund, what is the object which should be fulfilled? And to examine the need for maintaining two separate sources, that is the EBR and EBRIF and EBRIRFs. That is also one of the recommendations of the committee. The right now it is EBRIF is there, EBRIRFs is there. Both are through IRFs. That means IRFC presently contributing to the uh, rolling stock, EBRIF is the infrastructure project that is also LIC through IRFC. So that is also major of this both the EBRIF and EBRIRFC. And to effect all these changes, what are the changes is required in the core books hmm? and any other issues, this is the committee. The time limit is the one month. Time limit is one month, so shortly we may expect the uh, outcome of this committee. Outcome of this committee, and there may be a, uh, a lot of changes we may expect in coming days. So my presentation is over. Uh, please ask. Uh, please uh, ask any queries. Uh, please raise your hand and unmute one by one. Yeah, sorry, I can't able to explain in Hindi because I don't know Hindi. Hmm? Uh. Yeah, any queries? Please upload PPT. Yes, I will upload. I will upload this uh, the article. Uh, yeah, this uh, all these uh, Zoom class recordings. Uh, you please uh, check the Sitara YouTube channel. Sitara YouTube channel will uh, uploading all the video recordings, uh, uh, but it will take two to three days uh, for uploading the YouTube. Uh, please get to. Hmm? Yeah, Viresh Kumar. Please unmute. Sir, Namaskar. Sir, please tell me. Sir, please describe EVR, all parts of EVR, sir. Before that, uh, are you ready to answer some MCQ questions? Hmm? I'll uh, ask some MCQ questions. Huh? Uh, yeah, Mr. Vinesh Kumar, please wait. No. I uploaded this uh, uh, document. Please check. Yeah, please tell me, uh, Mr. Girish. Yeah, please tell me, Girish. Sir, I am asking. EVR, sir, EVR, all parts of EVR. EVR, IF, EVR, IF, IRFC, EVR, special, EVR. That is, uh, we will discuss in another topic that is a very big topic. Uh, IF means uh, institutional finance, IRFC, Indian Railway Finance Corporation. Uh, uh, we will discuss in another topic extra budget resources. PPP is there, uh, so many uh, schemes is there. Uh, uh, I will ask some MCP questions. Uh, please answer. How many parts of uh, development part? Please message in the chat box. Oh, very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. 
uh, unremunerative works are chargeable to uh, what development fund part unremunerative works very good 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 answers yeah yeah it is uh, uh, not for not for it is a three three is correct yeah development fund three is correct DRF established in the year. DRF established in the year. Yeah, very good. Good going on. Good, good. Nineteen fifty one is wrong answer. Yeah, nineteen fifty one also wrong answer. Very good. Uh, the correct name is nineteen twenty-four. Old name of DRF. Yeah, progressive fund. Wrong answer. Wrong bills. Revenue reserve fund. Wrong answer. Infinite Prashant, old name of DR. I think uh, many are not attend to progressive revenue fund. Uh, yeah, only Sonia Ahuja is correct answer. Yeah, Ajay Prakash wrong answer. Betterment fund. Yeah, AK Ram Palm there correct answer. Yeah, yeah, little correct answer. This said program revenue is old name of DRF. This correct answer. Yeah. Now, what is old name of development fund? Very good, very good, very good. Good answers. Yeah, yeah very good. Good, good. Yeah, betterment fund is the correct answer. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send again. Yeah. What is script full form? What is script full form? Yeah, very good. Central road. Yeah, very good. Good, good, good answer. Sonia, Prashant, Mahesh Kumar. Yeah, very good. The correct answer is Central Road and Infrastructure Fund. Very good. Then I have full form. Yeah, very good. Good answers, Sonia, Girija, yeah. Good, good. National Innovative Fund, wrong answer. National Institute Fund, wrong answer. So, National Investment Fund. The correct answer is National Investment. Fine. 
Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, any queries? Yeah, very good. Yeah, hope uh, no queries from the participants. Okay, uh, if there are no queries, then we wind up the session. On behalf of Peter from Skindarabad, I thank Sri and Nageshwar Rao for taking the session on sources of finance and also uh, quiz on M with MTQs. Thank you all. Thank you so much. The next session will be on Monday. I think the timings that we will be having two sessions. I think Mr. Navishra can uh, now make this announcement. Morning and evening. Yeah. Uh, morning it is the 11 to uh, 1245, one session under the title of Riley Accounts and Finance. And the evening regular uh, session it is there, uh, that is 3 to 445. This uh, program is continued up to 11th March. After 11th March, again we will. Uh, uh, plan the uh, next program. Anything, uh, please uh, stay in this uh, update. Uh, please check the group for updates on this. Uh, the timetable, notification, study material, everything. Okay. Okay. All these days we were conducting only one session. That is in the evening, three o'clock. So from tomorrow, Monday onwards, we'll be having two sessions. One in the morning starts at eleven o'clock, and then another in the afternoon, three o'clock. Okay. Thank you all. Have a nice weekend. Uh, the objective is so to much. cover more syllabus is for uh, this examination, uh, the special appendix three examination. Thank you, Anandar. Have a nice day.